Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, More Than PRT. In this video, we will be presenting on the importance of modeling fit spacer of spiral wound membrane channel for reverse osmosis process. Reverse osmosis, or RO, is currently the leading technology applied for desalination of seawater and brackish water. Spiral wound membrane is the most widely used module in RO desalination as it offers a good balance between permeation rate, pressure loss, and fouling control. Feed spacer, on the other hand, is a basic component for the spiral wound membrane modules in which it is made of thermoplastic polymers such as polypropylene. Fit spacer is needed in spiral wound membrane to first keep the two adjacent membrane surfaces apart while allowing feed water to flow inside the feed channels and to enhance mixing in the feed stream by inducing unsteadiness in flow leading to fouling reduction and mass transfer enhancement. The orientation and geometric parameters of fit spacer plays an important role on the hydrodynamic conditions inside spiral wound membrane feed channels. The properties of fit spaces can be modified to help promote mixing within spacer-filled channels so solid accumulation near the membrane surface can be reduced and water transport rate can be improved. An optimal fit spacer can reduce not only mass transfer resistance but also minimize the fouling tendency as well as pressure loss. Currently, computational fluid dynamics or CFD is widely employed to study the applications of different types of fit spaces. Commercial or open-source CFD software can be used to gain insights on flow change mechanism caused by different fit spacer designs with the aim of achieving improved membrane performance. The key benefits of using CFD are, first, to provide detailed visualization and information on flow conditions regardless of the design model without disturbing the bulk flow, and second, to offer the relatively cost-effective approach for design optimization and exploration. CFD analysis can be first started with the model development. It is then followed by mesh generation of fluid domain as shown in the figure before proceeding to specification of boundary conditions and fluid flow. The next step is critical as it will verify the model proposed. After the model is successfully verified, one can start simulation under varying conditions and followed by result analysis. Overall, CFD is used to investigate the effect of fit spacer geometry on membrane performance in terms of a. Geometric parameters such as spacer thickness, diameter and interfilament distance b. Flow attack angle against fit flow c. Number of filament layers, for example, dual layer spacer and multi-layer spacer and then we have D, spacer configurations such as triangular, rectangular, circular and elliptical filaments. And lastly, we have spacer orientation like zigzag, submerged as well as cavity spaces. Provided here is the schematic diagram of spiral wound membrane module. Optimizing fit spacer design in spiral wound membrane modules remains an important topic, especially for reverse osmosis process. This is because CFD modeling of complex spacer geometries is still limited to hydrodynamics without mass transfer, particularly due to the difficulties associated with generating high-quality mesh and the high computational cost for intricate features of complex spaces. Thus, developing novel spacer geometries and prediction of module performance remain many research opportunities for gaining further insights on the interactions between mass transfer enhancement and fouling reduction using novel fit spacer design. So I guess that is all we have for you on this topic. The technical content of this work is kindly provided by Dr. Liang Yong Yao and his PhD student Kathleen Fu. We hope you liked the video we are presenting to you. Please feel free to subscribe our YouTube channel to receive latest information. Thank you very much for watching.